Here is what Meghan put out in the media in 2018 to undermine her father and his ailing health. She claimed his heart attacks were faked. Who does that? After infamously pulling out of his daughter's wedding at the last minute due to an alleged health scare, a source has claimed that Thomas Markle Sr.'s heart attack and surgery were all a sham. A source close to the Duchess of Sussex says that Markle Sr., 73, was never ill and faked an emergency operation as an excuse to not attend the royal wedding and garner sympathy. The whole story about Meghan's father undergoing heart surgery was made up, the source said. He had to come up with a good enough reason not to attend her wedding and avoid any further embarrassment after those staged photos went public. During his recent bombshell interview on ITV's Good Morning Britain, the former lighting director said he was admitted to the sharp Chula Vista Medical Center, just a few miles north of the Mexican border in Tijuana, where a stent was fitted. But when DailyMail.com reached out to the hospital for confirmation of his May 16 visit, the clinic replied that no such name had ever checked into the hospital. The source added, the poor health story was his way of generating some compassion from the public, and taking the attention off those staged photos which were a complete embarrassment to Meghan and the royal family. However, Thomas Markle produces medical bills that prove conclusively he had not one but two heart attacks before the wedding of Meghan and Harry. Meghan's a brazen liar. Thomas Markle produced piles of medical bills that prove conclusively he had not one but two heart attacks before the wedding of Meghan and Harry. Mr. Markle had the first heart attack the weekend before the ceremony and has documents proving he was in hospital in Mexico for a day and a half. He then felt well enough to drive to Los Angeles to deliver flowers to his ex-wife Doria before being taken ill again when he returned home to Rosarito. The doctors told me I was having a second heart attack, he says. I had a blocked artery which they call the widow maker. A friend took me across the border to a U.S. hospital and they saved my life. Bills totaling more than £100,000 show he was discharged from Sharp Chula Vista Medical Center in California on May 17. Prince Harry called when Mr. Markle was recovering in hospital and said, If you'd listened to me none of this would have happened dash referring to the media stories about the faked paparazzi pictures. Mr. Markle hung up on Harry but says he regrets this because it started the rift. A few days after Thomas told the press that Meghan looks terrified when she's with the royal family, and not long after her half-sister Samantha tweeted that Meghan was ignoring her dad. Glad you have so much time to gallivant around paying tribute to others while ignoring your own father. She wrote on Twitter. That was a dead aim, Mega what lasers strike. She thinks that she can outsmart everyone but every lie she tells gets caught. When it was her in a smaller social group, she could gaslight enough people, or move on, up, and away from them, only to pull the same tricks. What she didn't count on was being mega famous means there's a lot more eyes on her and she can't just lie and run anywhere else. I think she was counting on the firm to cover her misdeeds but you can't bite the hand that feeds you and expect more caviar and champagne from them.